Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 513. You are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar and my name is Ajay and I am go today going to discuss about one of the very fantastic thing in Excel user forms which you can uh, you know uh, use in your project which is to change or the modify the combo box right now this is the advanced level video obviously if you don't have any idea about the excel uh, user forms then what you can do is you can simply go and check uh, one of the playlist excel vb user forms right now if, if you look at this uh, here in in in, in this uh, snapshot you know you can go and check this excel vb user forms playlist right uh, it was missing i have just got it added so this this is the sequence you should follow because many of you uh, keep on asking me that in order to learn excel vba or excel or access frontend or access vba how to proceed how to begin with so this is the this is the playlist sequence which you should watch right so go and uh, check out the excel vba user form videos start from the very beginning right i have talked about all the uh, the controls which which you can use in the user form well anyways that 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 was just to give you an idea now let's come back to the original topic so now we quickly go to the developer tab and i want to uh, you know go in the insert and click on the user form and here in the toolbox which is available here in the view option toolbox what actually i want to do is you have here combo button so i just go and create that combo button for example this is the combo button which we have created right now what we want to do is we want to create here a button called um, you know modify so you go and create that command button so i just go and drag this here right so now what you need to do just go and rename them i select that you press f4 and this is going to be my combo box cmb uh, let's say it is going to be my uh, department right this is the name i'm giving right and uh, then you go here and select the control press f4 and now we need to change this command button so i just write a cmd submit it's not mandatory but it, it's always a very useful thing and why it is useful well for that you should go and watch all those videos the basic videos right so finally the caption guys i'm going to write here modify modify the list just in case if a user want, wants to you know do that right so now the idea is when i'm going to run this user form what should happen first of all here we should have some list some departments coming so to do that what you need to do is you need to go here and you need to write some department name so let's say i write here mis operations quality right now what your macro should do is it should pick up all these values right so what i'm going to do is here is the plan which i'm telling you in advance when whenever this user form gets initialized initialized means when it gets loaded in the memory and it's you know before it comes on your screen what you want to do is you want to copy this a1 to a3 and you want to actually paste that data maybe in the b range that is what the plan is all about right i'll tell you the reason so what we are going to do we just go and right click on this and go to the view code right now you have to go and make sure you should select the initialized event for this user form right so i'm on the user form right and this is the initialized event guys so in the initialized event in a so why we call it initialized because this is the first time when the form is going to initialize in your memory right you will not you're not able to see that but it is going to happen so there what we want when the form is going to initialize in the memory immediately we should go and this a1 to a3 this is going to be uh, you know selected and then this selection should get copied so you're simply going to write here selection dot copy and then you go to the range b you know you go to the b1 cell you select that and you see that active cell dot paste special okay what do you want to do well let's say i want to paste everything paste all right now once this is done guys what is the next thing you want to do well when the data is going to be pasted in the b then you write here me dot 
what is your name of the combo box obviously it's cmp department so you write here that the row source is going to be and this is how we write right we write equals to you write the name of the sheet my name my sheet name is sheet one so i just simply go and write sheet one sign of exclamation and then you just go and write that it got to be b12 b3 put it within the double quotes remember right so now when you run this thing what will happen the data will be copied from a1 and it is going to be pasted in the b now why we are doing that why i'm not directly referring this to a1 to a3 i'll tell you the reason first of all let's quickly go and insert the module and here we're going to say that show my form so what is the form name the form name is user form one so you write user form one dot show right this is how we do it right as uh, as i said that this is not the basic video so I, I hope you know all these things so we simply go and click here and if you do not know don't panic no worries guys because these all 500 plus videos are for you right to make you awesome right and they, they are not the videos like you just go and you know don't understand anything just for the sake of you know uploading the video uh, you know just for the sake of getting the clicks <laughs> i have uploaded no it's not that right my people who know me from the last one year two years or people who recently joined but they have watched a couple of videos they really appreciate the work and uh, it's because of the reason that uh, whenever you ask me something very exciting something very interesting i go and upload the videos and apart from that i also have been uploading a lot of basic videos also so that if you're watching something advanced and you're not able to understand it you can go back and watch the basic videos first so go and enjoy the excel vp user form playlist you'll find there i think 10 15 videos so please watch in the sequence uh, you know as it comes in front of you when you click on the playlist so this is done so uh, the first thing which i right click and you simply go to the assign macro so i just go and assign the macro i think i've already signed it perfect so i click here and this is how you see that guys this is gonna come mis ops quality right and if you look at this in the b1 also the data is pasted right obviously you're going to hide this i mean you're not going to show this uh, you know all that stuff to the user you can put that in the different sheet also but what is the idea now now once you you are done with this once you are done with this maybe you can hide this you can hide this as well that's okay now what i want is when i click on this modify list okay so double click here so whenever the user is going to click on this submit button which is the modify button actually what should happen the first thing which should happen that the b1 to b3 should be completely blank so you are right here me dot your cmp department row source right now this is going to be my sheet one sign of exclamation right obviously um, uh, it is going to be b1 b1 to b3 right which is when it is going to run what what is going to happen it is going to delete so we want to say that range b1 b1 to b3 it should be selected and then selection dot clear right so what is going to happen your selection is going to be cleared and then just come back to the and any cell so let's say i just want to be back on the a1 cell right now I think you don't need this line you can delete that because it's going to be the same row source so but what we will do instead of the instead of this b1 because it is a it is a modifying range so you can see that it has to be c3 c1 to c3 or c1 to c10 whatever you want to call it let's say i write here c1 to c10 now the new range is going to be added here right so guys in this maybe i can write let's say finance Maybe I can write MIS analytics, you know, whatever you want to do. While well, here, maybe I can write the production. And then you're going to write here uh, the human resource. Right. And then you can write here, let's say the quality internal and the quality external, whatever. I mean, you know, you can write all that stuff. So any point in time, if my user wants to modify this, he should be able to do that. So what? Is going to happen let me put the break code here so first of all let's just quickly run this now you see that i've got all the previous values which are coming from b1 to you know b3 the moment i let's say click on this modified list what is going to happen the b1 b3 is going to be clear now if it is clear guys you know what is going to happen this list this combo box is already linked with b1 to b3 and which is now empty so if this is empty obviously this is not going to show you anything right but my code hasn't over yet 
isn't it because now it is going to what what it is it going to do is it is going to link it is going to put that row source from the c1 to c10 so finally the code is done let's have a look look at this guys wonderful so finally you have this now many of you must be wondering that why i have if you if you know the vba user forms but you do not know them so well i'm sure this question would come up in your mind that what is the need to clear this and the second question as i said what is the need to you know go and create the first it in uh, first create this in the a1 to a3 and then in the b1 to b3 well the reason is very simple guys now you see why i created the a1 because that's going to act as a backup in the backup you always have these numbers you know because if the b1 is if you're just going to link this directly with the b1 to b3 without using this thing then what will happen your b1 and b3 once it is going to be removed when the user is going to click on the modify you will not have any row source so to keep the backup i have kept it in the a1 to a3 because when you hit here when you when you hit in you know hit on this button which is this button what happens your user form gets initialized and this is where actually the real part comes because this is my backup which is going to be copied and i'm going to paste it here and once this is pasted, obviously you are seeing that this row source has to come from B1 to B3 and finally you are able to see that. So it doesn't matter whenever I click on the modify, I know it is going to clear B1 to B3 but A1, A3, A1 to A3 is always going to keep that backup right now the next question which I was telling that if you are thinking that why I have, why I am clearing this, well guys if you are not going to clear this then what is going to happen? you see yourself i just go and don't clear it okay so now first of all i'll remove the break code from the initialize event because now you know how it is going to work so i click here you have all the mis ops and quality now the moment you hit on the modify now what is going to happen this is going to link with the c1 to c10 look at this now so let me click here the moment you click here look at this guys now this is coming as finance mis analytics production human resource so basically what is happening you are actually getting the new values right so that means actually you can use it because what i thought that in any case if if you're not just going to clear this it should not happen that the b1 to b3 is going to be added in the c1 to c6 so you should you, you should start seeing mis ops quality finance mis analytics production and you know so everything i mean right so this is crazy man i, I mean I, I wasn't expecting this so this is coming right so this is coming so that means this is not required you don't really actually have to delete anything so what is happening that means that when this row source is taking the value from the c1 to c10 it's automatically removing the previous values and if it is removing the previous values guys you don't have to you know remove anything so this means that if i further let's say if i further go and let's say just for the fun or for or maybe for the knowledge perspective if i just go and back you know loop, uh, you know loop this back to b1 to b10 for example now what should happen now i think what you should be able to see is that you should be able to actually see uh, let's say i write here test one test two you know this is what i write for example right so now when i run this let's see what's going to happen so i click here obviously this is going to take the value of mis ops and quality perfect the moment i click on the modify list so now this is going to put the value from the c1 to c10 but now let us go and see that what going to happen so finally if the code is if going by the current concept i am expecting that it should give me the value mis ops quality test 2 test 1 and then blank 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 but the c1 to c6 should not be coming here so let's go and click here wow wonderful so we have the mis ops quality it is true test one right so guys this is what actually i wanted to teach you that any point in time if you want to modify your you know the combo box you want to keep that option open for the user you know you can use that let me just comment this so this is the very simple code and this the most important line was the user form initialized because in the initialized what you are doing is that is going to show up in the combo box right so what we did is we created this a and we pasted this you know in the b so now next time when you do that please make sure you hide everything from the user the front 
you user who is going to use this form right so i click here and there we go we got everything i click on the modify list and just remove the break code from here and i just hit on the f5 there we go so now you have the complete list here right so now you can use that and this is how you know the modification works so i hope you have enjoyed this I, I you can pause the video you can note down this code anything you didn't understand let me know about it and as usual guys i request you I request all of you to subscribe to the channel and give me the support thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon in my next video bye bye